Hello and welcome back to First Impressions Fridays. This is a series where I try out a new productivity app for just one day and share my setup and general thoughts on how the app compares to others I've tried in the past. And in today's episode, we're going to be trying out Taskade, which is a collaborative productivity app meant for teams. Yeah. I don't actually know that much, so let's let's go to Google and see what Google has to say. All right, so we are on Google, and this time I am in incognito, so there won't be any more snooping eyes seeing my search history. So yeah, let us look up Cascade. So it looks like this app is definitely built for teams, which I can tell based on like this cursor thing here that shows who's working on it, similar to like Google Docs. So there is like this editor on the top, you can see tags, assigned tasks, but then down here you basically see this text editor that is similar to Notion. So it seems like a single note can be converted between different views from a traditional list or just text editor to a Kanban board to uh, I think there's like a sprint type of Jira thing. And I'm interested to see how, for example, a Kanban board can be converted to a list without manual formatting. Okay, so here's another team-like structure for collaboration where you can plan out how long different tasks will take and visualize them on a board. And while this is being marketed as something for teams, it also is pretty useful for individuals. And the last thing I see, which is awesome, is that there are apps. So you no okay never mind okay let me just use the web app here Harshi bar sign up for free yes please oh okay getting started drag the button on the left of this to reorder mentioned uh, whatever superpowers customize a project layout at the top right corner board mind map whoa collaborate real time on the same page nice so I do like that you can have different workspaces for personal business etc although I've usually found that I would prefer to have all my stuff in one workspace just because my business and personal stuff just always gets meshed in terms of how my mind works but that's cool Okay, okay, okay. Hello, hello. If you want to video call yourself or video call your friends or your team, you can do that here. So it is about 8 p.m. now. I do want to go and eat dinner and play with my dogs. So I'm going to play with this a little bit more later into the evening and then I'll check back in once I've set up the app a little bit more. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you in just a few seconds. Hello. I am back and it is the following day, so I wanted to show you guys what I did. So the projects tab here is basically something like in Notion how you have these different pages and then within that you see all the different projects that you're working on that have not yet been completed. The reason that is important is because here on the side we see this progress bar which shows the percentage of the project that has been completed and then once you do have a project that is completed you can mark it as done and when we do that it goes over to the completed tab and you can see it here. Now the next tab is templates. So this is a complaint that I had about Supernotes last week is that they didn't have any templates. So when I started with the app, I just didn't know what to do. But here it's really nice because they actually have a lot of templates, like maybe even more than you need. Uh, not trip planning, definitely not world travel ideas. This is just nice because it gives you inspiration for different types of things that you can use the app for. I can just use this right away and it'll land in my workspace. So here is the video template. And here there are a few things to note on the general text editor. The first thing is that everything is a block, which is similar to Notion. The second thing is that within a bulleted list or list of any sort, 
you can change the formatting of the entire list with one click. So here I can change that from numbers to bullets to these little check marks. The other thing that is notable here is that similar to Roam or Notion's toggle feature, with any nested list, it automatically toggles or here it's called folds and unfolds. On every single note, you have this video call and chat feature. So this chat bar probably won't be very useful for me unless I just feel so lonely that I want to talk to myself, which, uh, and something that I really like here is that there are a couple of different views that you can toggle between. And something like this mind map is really great if, say, you're brainstorming. And when I was doing this, I actually felt motivated to keep on brainstorming and planning my videos more than I would if I was just looking at, for example, this table on Notion. So yeah, that is a general look of just how the app works, the different features, and how you can set it up for yourself. And here we meet our new friend, Mr. Rubric, or should it be Mrs. Rubric? So the first category is ease of use, which just means how easy is this app to set up. And here I would give Taskade a solid two. So first it's really easy to download and just get started with. And once you're in, again, because there are so many templates, it's really easy to just see what type of templates work for you. There's also this get started with Taskade thing that they showed me at the beginning. So if you like to be walked through how to use an app, this is super thorough. All right, now let's talk about flexibility, which basically means how can this app be used by many different types of users and be customized for different types of workflows, especially because they do market this app as a multiplayer app for collaboration. I can see this being used for things like meeting minutes or planning sprints or collaborating on shared notes, etc. So even though it is really flexible for different types of users, it is definitely catered more towards teams than solo learners like me. Let's give it a one and a half. All right, now let's talk about features. So features means either how unique are the features that the app has or how diverse is its feature set. When I initially saw the app, I was almost overwhelmed because there was a lot going on and a lot of features that are jam packed into this app. And the one thing that really makes this app unique compared to all the other apps is this video call or collaboration feature that's present on every app. So suppose I'm working on a design doc Instead of working on the design doc in say like Google Docs and then going to Slack and then messaging the person like, oh, do you want to like hop on Zoom and look at this design doc together and then set up the Zoom call and then share your screen and do all of this stuff? That's annoying. <laughs> all I can do is just add someone to the design doc and then I can just go here and be like, yo, Bob. And then Bob would be like, yeah, dude. And then we can get on either an audio call or a video call and see each other face to face. But the problem with that is that that is really the only feature that seems truly unique to this app. And of course, since there are so many apps out there, this is a common problem. So for that, I would give it a solid one. Now let's talk about productivity boost. So what this means is how much does this help me get things done or does it slow me down? And here, this is partially my own personal opinion, but I do feel like there is a little bit too much going on to just get simple things done. For example, there's things like these tags or this assigned feature or this calendar feature that I might not need to use with every note, but I personally don't like seeing it blanked out like this and I need to fill it out. So sometimes having a lot of features is a blessing and a curse because on one hand it is very powerful but on the other hand there is too much going on and actually slows you down. And the other main thing that I found to slow me down with this app is the limited formatting. So for example when I have a bulleted list like this, all of the bullets have to be of the same type and I can't mix and match them. And the other thing is that I can't edit all of my text at once. I have to do it block by block. And there's a few other things. For example, this doesn't use Markdown like I would see in something like Roam or Notion. So for that reason, I would give it a one on productivity. Boost. Boost. And lastly, we have feel, which is the catch all for everything else. And here I would give it again a one out of 
too. So the first thing is the pricing. So if we go to the homepage to my Harshi Bar workspace, we can see this message here that says that I am on the free plan and I'm using 12 out of 10 projects. Oh great. And if we do look at the pricing table here, we see that the next plan up is the unlimited yearly, which is a standard $5 a month to have more than 10 free projects. So pricing is a big deal for me because if I want to onboard onto an app, I want to have enough time to test it out and figure out whether it really is the one for me. And here I have a very small window of time and space to do so. And in terms of the UI, I really do like the colorful vibes that it has and the amount of customizability. That being said, the UI is a little bit overwhelming for my taste where we have things like these buttons over here, we have these, I don't know, people icons, we have this stuff, we have the chat bubble, we have this, and we have this editing bar. It's just a lot. And lastly, in terms of whether I would use this again, quite frankly, probably not. Mostly because I find that all of these different collaboration features just get in my way. Since I work for myself, I'm never gonna have to invite people to my boards, at least not yet. And then this chat feature is another feature that I just don't need. So of course this could be really great for teams or people who have coworkers or classmates to work with. But for me, since I do work for myself, I would rather see something a little bit simpler. For that, I would give this a one. So if we were to tally this up, the total would be, drum roll please, 6.5 out of 10. So this falls right smack dab between Rome and Supernotes. So yes, pretty, pretty good. But yeah, this is Taskade. Please let me know what you thought of the app down below and if you have any other apps you want me to try out. I will be back next week with another main channel video and another app review. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this first impression. And if you did, please give it a big like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Huh? That one was like this big and this one is this big. Oh my god. Anyways.